Sugar pie, how do you like yours? Do you prefer it to be gooey or do you like it to have a firmer texture? How about the protein packed version? You're in luck because I've got you covered. This pie is not only delicious and amazing, but it also offers different variation to suit your preferences. To make this delicious pie, you'll need a few ingredients. In a mixing bowl, I combine one egg white and eight of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. I whisk these ingredients together until they form stiff peaks, creating a light and fluffy base for the pie. Next, add one tablespoon of sweetener to the mixture and gently mix on low speed until thoroughly incorporated. This sweetener will add just the right amount of sweetness, enhancing the overall taste of the pie. For a beautiful golden crust, you can use allulose as an alternative to traditional sweetener. Allulose will give your crust a unique touch. Once the egg white mixture is fluffy and peaked, pour it into a single pie cup and carefully shape it into a crust. Place the crust in the oven and bake at 350 Fahrenheit for 8 minutes. Remove the crust from the oven and let it cool completely. It's important to notice that once the pie is out of the oven, it will start to deflate slightly, which is completely normal and what is needed. <laughs> Moving on to the filling, here's what I do. In my bowl, I combine two egg whites, quarter cup of sweetener, quarter cup of protein powder, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I make sure to mix them thoroughly until they're well combined. If you want to achieve that signature golden hue and caramelized filling, you can use allulose as your sweetener. Additionally, if you prefer a firmer texture for your pie, the protein powder will help achieve that. The protein powder that I use is whey powder, but guys, by no means am I a protein powder expert, so please use whichever makes sense for you guys. However, if you're more inclined towards a gooey consistency, you can opt to replace the protein powder with yogurt. And of course, for the sweetener, you can replace that with maple syrup or honey for a more natural ingredient. To ensure that there's enough room for the filling, I push down the center of the crust using a spoon. This will allow more filling to be added. Once the filling is poured in, I bake the pie at 350 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And voila! There you have it, a mouth-watering and delectable dessert that's absolutely ready to be savored and enjoyed to the fullest. So treat yourself to this irresistible sweet treat that will surely satisfy your cravings. And wait for it? Leave you wanting more. <laughs> I really hope you give this recipe a try, and if you do, please let me know how you like it. Happy baking!